happy Friday. I'm actually recording this on Thursday because uh, as you watch this, I will be in the gallery in Skipton for the final time for my exhibition, which closes on Saturday. So if you haven't been to see me already and you can get there, pop in. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous today. Daffodils are out everywhere. Um, plants, hawthorns are blooming. Leaves are starting to come out on some of the earlier trees. The birds are singing. My garden's just showing like little signs of life all over the place. And uh, it's milder than it has been for the last few days. So it's really feels like spring. And um, by accident, not by design, um, spring is also presenting me with kind of a new beginning in terms of my work um, and I want to show you a little bit of that today so as lots of you know I've been teaching online courses I teach courses called find your joy which is the first course and then a follow-on course called find your voice which is a little bit more advanced and find your voice finishes uh, this week this is the last week and I started this process in November. I began designing the courses in November. And so ever since November, I've been working really hard on either creating content, filming content, doing live streams, answering questions. And I have loved every minute of it. I had no idea that I would enjoy teaching. The courses seem to have gone really well. People seem to have got a lot out of them, which is just really super rewarding. But um, it also is quite draining, as I've discovered, especially creatively. Um, and so when we finish this week, it kind of represents a new beginning for me. Also the fact that my exhibition finishes on Saturday. So there were two things I was working really hard towards over this past six months and they're both coming to an end and I will be running courses again and I will be showing work again but in the interim I have a little bit of time to myself and for anyone who wants to know when I will be running courses again I apologize that I haven't been clear about that there's been all sorts of scheduling things making it difficult for me to decide but I now know that I will run find your joy in August. I don't have an exact date but it will be in August and I will be fully recharged and ready to go by then and then that will run for probably eight weeks and then after that I will run Find Your Voice for those who want to continue and for anyone who feels that Find Your Joy is too uh, elementary for them because it depends where you are in terms of your artistic development as to what you need. But more about that down the road, it doesn't matter now because we're, I'm having a few months to work on my own work. And um, what that looks like for me is, um, first of all, I'm going to spend some time making a plan it's because I find it easy when I have extra time for time to drift away. When I'm really busy, I can get everything done. But when I have some spare time, I seem to wander around the kitchen making cups of tea and not sure what, what to do. So I'm making a plan. Uh, that will be the first thing to do next week. Uh, but I'm also taking two courses. The first one I'm in process with now, which is called The Artist Mindset. And it's funny because it's a little bit like the course I teach, but from a completely different perspective. And that's the beauty of teaching. Everyone brings their own perspective and you can learn from almost everyone. Um, some teachers will resonate more with you than others, but everyone has something to offer. And this course is with a creativity coach called Cheryl Taves, and I knew her from another course I took that she coached. And I just thought it would be a really good opportunity. It's a three-month course about freeing up. And where I am with my work is I feel like this, the only way I can describe it is something new wants to be born. But I don't know what that something new is because you never do. And I want to find ways to release it uh, out into the world. And I think Cheryl's course might help me. And so I'll talk about that in a second. And then following Cheryl's course, I'm going to be taking Nicholas Wilton's CVP program for the second time. Uh, and I'll talk more about that in the coming weeks because... Uh, 
I have some cool things to share with anyone who thinks they might want to do it and because he'll be offering some really great free stuff that all of you should take advantage of whether or not you're interested in studying with him further because even his free stuff is better than most people's paid stuff. So Cheryl's course, so what am I doing on that? So um, I'm going to show you uh, because we're only on week two but I've had some really interesting learning already uh, from the process of going through the exercise that she set. Um, so let me show you what I'm in process with with that. So first of all, here on my messy painting cart, I have this big piece. So the assignment we had for this week was to do something intuitive and do something different and play with no intention of making a good painting. And I first I got this piece of mount board which was left over from something. I painted, I gessoed it a couple of coats and then I got the urge to collage and I have tons of ephemera which I buy from eBay, I collect bits of paper, I just love bits of paper and so I went, I started by collaging onto this big board, piece of cardboard and I got so into it I had um, this stuff, gloss medium, uh, gloss gel, which is a thick gloss medium, all over my hands as I spread it all over this board and I stuck collage pieces all over. And then, um, and then I got instantly got this feeling like, oh, this is quite interesting. Maybe I could cut this up and make it into smaller pieces. Maybe I could develop it into something. And I had to tell myself, no, you're not trying to produce something. This is like, I have this need to be productive. And so anyway, then I went in with paint. And so I forced myself to keep going. So there is ink splattered, there is paint. Um, you, there is, I've started to add collage pieces back on top. So these shapes are added back on top. There's just, you know, a big old mess in lots of places. Uh, this is some collage peeping through. I love this lady, so I stuck her on. I don't know where she came from, but... Um, and so I'm beginning now to add in things back over this painted area. And that'll be my next move before I get too precious, is to lay a collage back on again. So uh, this, I shall have more fun this morning gluing back onto here. Um, but the general idea is something that anyone can apply, which is go make something without trying. Go make something and just do what you feel like. If your brain says pick up a crane, scribble everywhere, do that. If your brain says stick a funny lady down onto your painting, do that. Just keep following whatever you feel like doing, what your hands want to do, what your mind suggests. Don't question it, just do it. And enjoy the feeling again of just creating, but also listen to the voices in your head. So the ones in my head say, this is a waste of time, you could be producing something. Or they say, oh look, maybe you could turn this into something and you could sell it. So there's no creative play while ever there's this feeling of the need to produce. So that's something important that I'm learning from doing this exercise and you know, you might also get something out yeah, of it. Also working on this course with creativity journal. Um, I'm calling this my studio journal. I usually keep something to scribble ideas down on but I've never been organized to have everything in the same place. And we were instructed to make a cover for this, which has actually been a good thing for me because I usually get a mess all over my covers. And this way, this has got gloss medium on it. I can wipe it off. I still have to gloss the back. Um, but you can see that I'm sticking with my color palette of red and khaki and yellow ochre and black and white um, for the time being, so even on my cover. So what are you using this for? is first of all I generally do this which is to collect pieces by artists that I admire and to analyze what it is that I admire so doing this stops you from being in the compare and despair mode oh look at what he's done I could never do that oh I'm so rubbish instead what is it about what he's done that I like 
because maybe I can bring that into my pieces. Very different, Andrew Bird. What do I like here? I like that it feels light and spacious. I like the interesting shapes. I like the lines and organic shapes. And I like the texture throughout the pieces. So I keep notes on that kind of thing. There's another one. I write notes on uh, what I'm experiencing or when I have resistance. This is the letter I told you about from my friend because I find it so inspirational. Um, this is, uh, I make notes of ideas that I have. Um, oh, I got this <laughs> fortune cookie. In my fortune cookie, you will be rewarded for your kindness to others. And I thought, oh, I hope so. So I'll stick it in here just to try and make that be true. This is my obsession with this ephemera that I buy. I've decided to make some of it into just collages in here because I feel like there's something to come out of this, this love of this stuff but I don't know what it is yet so this is just general stuff like I love this there's a uh this was the back of a postcard this is a beautiful site someone has written on it that's all they've written who is that person when did they write that um you know I love that uh, this is just to remind myself of the palette that I want to work in and some of the elements, this was a scrap of paper left over from an exercise I was doing. But I often stick things like this in because they keep me focused on what it is that I want to achieve. Um, and this is just some notes that I made about my reaction to the exercise that we were doing. And that's all I have so far because I started a new book for this, uh, what feels like a new season to me. And my hope is that by the time I get to the end of this book... I will know what this thing is that wants to be born, uh, but we shall see. So that's it for me this week. I am going to go back, collage some more stuff onto my piece, quieting down that nagging little voice that tells me I should be doing something more productive, like working on these ones behind me, which really need me to get on with sanding. Um, and I am also going to then go edit next week's podcast which comes out on Tuesday this was a good one I think Alice and I were talking about investing in ourselves and the times when we have spent money or invested time in moving our art forward and how that's paid off for us in different ways so I'm going to go edit that then I'm going to take my dog for a walk in this beautiful beautiful weather and uh, enjoy it because we've had quite a dull and grey winter and it's nice to see some nice weather. So I hope you're going to do something nice today. I hope you're uh, getting a chance to paint or make art in some way and if you're not I hope you get to do that this weekend. Have a great weekend everybody and I will see you next week. Bye!